glad it came out. of things. It was wanting to make a, a longer film with Roberto in it as the lead. Um, and it was also this story uh, that I was really inspired by that one of my students had told me about coming over the border and getting stuck in a drop house and it was something I had never heard of before. So I just wanted to explore that idea. I love it. I love it. It's my third film with Mike. Uh, and uh, as an actor, I just, I just love him as a director, you know, that allows me to explore different things. And uh, and allows me to go outside of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? As, as an actor, you love that. So I love, I love working with Mike. What is it about storytelling in between films, especially at this level? It's a much more, you, you can feel the texture of the grit. It's not the big studio polish. Exactly. It's part of this passion. What is it about making an independent film? Let's see. Yeah. Well, you go ahead. Uh, for me personally, it's just, um, again, you get rid of all that excess stuff, all that Hollywood stuff, and it's all in the story, you know, and uh, in this particular story that we tell, it, it, it touches a lot with how I was brought up, how I came into this country, and sometimes we don't, we don't have that story told. So on this level is an opportunity for you to explore all these different stories, and I, I love it. And what about for you as a director? Um, I mean, I just like the idea that I can kind of make the movie that I want to make. Um, I mean, more than anything, you know, and I can experiment as much as I want and fail and fall on my face and, and not have to worry about too much pressure with anything else. And I really like working with actors and working with people like Roberto where we can like collaborate and kind of come up with ideas on the fly. Well guys, have a wonderful, wonderful fest. Awesome, thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Nice